Hi, my name is Rodrigo Kuznetsov, and today I'd like to review a few of the features of the new 2012 Acura MDX that we have here. We'll go over some basic features, uh, things that come up every day, uh, little questions, and uh, let's get started. We'll start on the outside and then we'll move in to the inside of the vehicle and review some of the features also on the navigation. So what I have here is the remote control that you would be getting. The key pops out just by pressing this button. And then when you leave the car, if you press it only once, it's silent. You press it twice, it'll beep if you need to make sure that it's completely locked. As you approach the car, if you press it once, it will unlock the driver's side door. If you press it again, it will do the other two doors. And if I keep holding it down, I can ventilate the car as I'm approaching on a hot summer's day. This is great. The windows roll down and the sunroof has opened up. Now also from out here, say I walked out of the vehicle and I forgot to close my sunroof or one of the windows. I don't need to go back in the car. I can just put the key in the keyhole, turn it once, twice and hold and everything will close up. Other features out here, it's always good to know where you put gas on an Acura. It is always on the driver's side. And in order to open the gas, I just press right here inside the door and pop it out. And then unscrew it. And it's good to leave it up here so that you don't scratch the paint. Then you, when you put the Cap back on, make sure to tighten it at least three times. That way your O2 sensor will not be going off sporadically. Also on my remote, I do have control of my power lift gate. In order for the lift gate to open, all the doors need to be unlocked. Now I have a control from here. I can also, once I'm outside of the vehicle, I can press this button on the gate itself. And I also have, if you're in the driver's seat, you can also, on the door here, have another button that will open and close the door. So basically that's the MDX on the outside. Now we'll start reviewing a few things inside the vehicle. In particular, um, how you put the seats down, first of all, so you can maximize the cargo area of the vehicle. I will open the gate again. Right now, I do have all the seats in the up position. Obviously, if you're going to use the third row, you will raise the headrest on both sides. Now, to put the seats down, it's very easy. The third row, you just pull on this. The seat go, goes flat. If you want to maximize your cargo area, then you pull down the other seat. Um, also, make sure you have enough room to pull down the seats. And then, of course, once again, really easy to put them up. You just pull back. And for the middle seat, you just pull on this and pull the seat back up. Now, to get into the third row, it is always best to get into the third row from the curbside. The reason for that is that on the curbside, the middle row has a latch here that you pull on it and then you can move the seat forward so that you can enter into that third row more easily. Now these seats in the, in the middle row are fixed, but you, you can also recline them by pulling here and you just get it to the position that you want. Also back here, you do have a little bit of storage space where you can keep your things hidden. Also the jack is right here. 
You'll notice also back here, you have the spare tire. The spare tire is underneath the car. All you do, you pop this little thing, and then with the tool, you unwind it, I believe about 70 turns, and the tire will drop so that you can replace the tire. In terms of latch, the lower anchor and tethers for the kids, you have full latch in the middle row where you can attach it to the lower anchors on the seat and then you route it back here and tether it to that position. Now, in the third row, you only have the tether anchors which come out from here. You pull the tab and hook the tether on here. Now let's step inside the vehicle. These remotes um, are memory. So this car does have memory seating for the driver's side. Each remote has a number, driver one or driver two. So after you've set your seating position, your steering wheel and your side view mirrors, it will read the remote that you're using and self-adjust it for you. And the way you program your seat, it's very simple. So now we're gonna program the driver's side seat and it's very simple. You just put the key in the car, make sure it's turned on, move the the wheel to the position that you want using this button. Your side view mirrors are right here, left and right, and then you play around with the little circle, get it to the position that you want. The seats are controlled right here. This is to move the seat forward and back, also up and down, and then this is for your seat back. The only thing that is not part of the memory on the seat is the lumbar support that is because your back feels differently every day. To program the seat, all you do is hit the memory button. You have one and two right here. Right now I have uh, key number two, so I'm gonna press number two, wait for the two beeps, and it's done. It's as simple as that.